Hey guys, all over Windows here today, I am back with another video. And today what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to be installing Revision OS, or in my case, I'm gonna call it Revy OS, that's what a lot of people call it. Um, I have with me the Dell all-in-one computer. Uh, it has, I think it has an Intel i3 fifth gen. Don't quote me on that, I'm not too certain. It might be sixth. Um, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to do the Windows 10 version of, Win of uh, Revy OS. Um, and I got this little USB stick here to install it on, but as you can see, it's already booted into Haiku, everything's working. So hopefully I won't have any issues trying to install this. Um, but I guess without further ado, let's just go ahead and try to uh, install this. So it's kind of weird how this actually works. They don't have, you can't like make a Revy OS ISO anymore. You have to download a separate program and do a whole bunch of uh, stuff for it. And it'll just install it for you with no ISOs. Let's get this thing restarted. Go and then press F12. Hopefully this keyboard's on. Yep, it is. And USB storage. Hey, hi. That's what I hate about these freaking screens. They're like super glossy, and so they reflect everything. So you can just see me. Reflection. Hello. All right. Go ahead and just get Windows 10 installed on here. And yeah, I guess we we'll just let it copy. Oh yeah, I have no idea what Revy OS is. This is all going to be new to me. Uh, I literally haven't seen any pictures or anything of it. So it's just some sort of modification to Windows. I guess it's in their eyes for what they think it should look like. So it's just, I'm just gonna let it, you know, surprise me, I guess. Actually, don't hear anything. Huh. There, I'm for there she is. I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Hmm. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Cortana shouldn't have died. <laughs> It's pretty neat. I loved Cortana. I've always loved Cortana, even like, you know, in the in the Halo games. Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? Yes. Yes? Your keyboard is set to US. Wanna stick with that? Yes. You also type with another keyboard layout? No. Oh, it's dark. Why well, did it? Oh, ah, here we go. Connected to a network. No problem. That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos. No. And cat videos? Wait. I should have listened to it before. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Mission accomplished. You're all linked up. Now we have some important setup to do. Well. Whoa. <laughs> oh God. I take it it installed the wrong uh, display drivers. It sort of just zoomed in there for me. The mouse is large now. I mean, I guess it's easier for you guys to see it, though. <laughs> so I had to actually download this here and go through this setup, get the Revy OS playbook as well, download it. Finally getting Revy OS installed. Man, I, I freaking the white theme is so bright, man. <laughs> Got to go through here and disable Windows security, which is kind of insane to me, but I guess it also makes sense. Turn all these off. Go. Close this. Press next and let it just install, I guess. Let me uh, set it to the dark theme. This is really bright. Oh, come on, really? Updates? This is gonna be me behind. Hey. 
Oh well, it's fine. I don't need that. Oh my god. I wish I could just skip the freaking fact that it needs to install updates. And it has to install all of these. Well. Alright, we are back. It is the next day. I have got this computer all updated and everything like that. And I opened up the program to see if it'll let me go through with it. And it did. So, I guess without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right back into the installation. Hopefully there's no problems this time. <laughs> So I gotta open up the downloads folder and open up the AME Wizard Beta. I'm not really sure what AME means, actually. I don't, it might have told me before, but I don't remember what it said. And it's already got Rev EOS loaded in here. So we'll just have that selected and just press next. As you can see, disabled security, it's, it's disabled. Push next here and it's gonna go through, analyze uh, the installation. And it's already done. It's already ready to install, so. Uh, I guess without further ado, let's just go ahead and press next and see what happens. Because again, I don't really know. I, I really don't know what's going to happen here. Let's just press next. Got some of the uh, information here. Got your copyrights, your GUI stuff. Press next again. I do agree with the terms and of the license. Okay, so I guess we can select the features. Let's let's do that. So, all right, select a preferred browser. We can only provide a curated experience for some options. We'll go with Firefox. Push next here. Sure, yeah, we'll remove Edge and Copilot, and definitely OneDrive. OneDrive is obnoxious. Of course, there is no Copilot in Windows 10, but uh, sure. I mean, I don't. Again, I don't have this because uh, this is not Windows 11. Yep, we'll keep those enabled and press OK. Push next here and let this go through. And it's going to restart a few. Ooh, the background's immediately black. I'm just going to let it sit here and like stream what the screen looks like. Well, we are in uh, Revy OS, and wow, look at this lock screen. It looks pretty cool. Let's log in here and see what happens. See what it looks like. Okay, so we are now booted into Revy OS. So right off the bat, it looks exactly like Windows 10 looks. I thought it would change more. Um, Let's see, is the start menu the same? Oh, the start menu is a little bit different. It got rid of all the apps. I guess it's just like a cleaner version of Windows. Uh, let's see, does it change anything? Let's let's check the revision tool. What, what, what all is going on here? Revision tool. Wow, this looks like... <laughs> this looks like a, a Microsoft app. That's crazy. They did a really good job with this. Cool. Hey. Um, okay, so that's why they didn't want Windows Defender. Okay, interesting. I'll go ahead and leave this how it is now, and then go through and change more. I could completely disable notifications. Sure, let's do that. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I don't know what GC is. Actually, let's enable it again. Why not? Um, legacy notification balloons? Oh, it'll render as balloons instead of uh, the pop-out menu here. Oh, can I not? Oh, yeah, I can. Cool. What about performance? Save memory by compressing unused programs running in the background. Okay. I'm just going to leave everything as it is, I guess. No, don't pause Windows updates. Never pause Windows updates. Wait, does it completely get rid of Windows Update on the settings page? No. Oh, yeah, it does. I don't like that. Oh, miscellaneous. 
hibernate network and gpu monitoring okay this is interesting whoa why did everything over here change let's see no experimental tweaks yeah let's let's pull cool this let's see what shows up when you do that if anything oh wow there's a little more this time well i just realized there i don't have a browser anymore i don't know how i didn't catch that now i gotta open firefox and add firefox to the uh the taskbar the only reason i feel like i'd like revision os is because it's like you know red and dark like pretty much black and red my favorite thing all right there we go cool oh there's like no animation interesting Huh, that's weird. They got rid of the animation. That's weird. People like hyped up Revision OS. I mean, I guess it just gets rid of bloatware and all that stuff that you don't really want. And apparently it, it seems like it does a better job out of it as a, you know... I don't like how it disabled the animations, though. Alright, well, I guess I got uh, Revy OS installed. It doesn't seem to be, like, anything else special on here, which is interesting. Like, I wasn't expecting it, but I was hoping the, uh... I was hoping the boot screen would be different and everything like that, but it was still Windows 10-esque, so. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Uh, sorry, this really wasn't that much. I mean, I thought this would be like way more. I mean, I love the background. The background is amazing, but I was hoping this would have a little bit more to, you know, offer, I guess. Um, but unfortunately it doesn't. This is all that RevOS has to offer. And I went through and looked at all the stuff and but if you guys would want to check this out for yourself, the link will be down in the description below, so make sure to check that out. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I will see you guys later. Goodbye, guys. And unfortunately, there's no shutdown sound.